So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. So today we will see the day of the year chart or time series chart in Google Attention. So let's get started. So the day of the year chart or the time series chart are useful for various purposes. So the first one is if you're interested in, so suppose if you want to understand the seasonal patterns on a time series data, that is a useful thing to do for investigating. So to understand the seasonality of the time series data, Another useful thing about the time series chart or the day of the year chart is so if you are interested to investigate the inter and annual variability of a, so the change in that time series data, for example, if you're performing NDVI to a normalized difference vegetation index to, under, to understand the change in the vegetation pattern, we can use this, uh, this, uh, this particular uh, time series chart in Google Earth Engine. To investigate the change in the vegetation pattern over the period of year or no year. So here in the Earth Engine, we're going to use a MODIS satellite. That is a MODIS satellite uh, data or the NDVI uh, of MODIS data. So to see to see the variability of this uh, time series data of the particular region of interest, so we're going to select uh, one region of interest and analyze the different variability of NDVI changes. Uh, using our time series chart. So to do that, we define a region of interest as a buffer around a point. For that, I define a variable called sample points equals to double e dot geometry dot points. Here the points are the coordinates of that particular uh, uh, particular region. These are the point data. So these are the coordinates, and we set a buffer buffer uh, with a 2000 meters of buffer. So the buffer here refers to that is 2000 meters or two kilo that is 2000 meters. So to add this uh, layer we define to add this uh, sample uh, sample point we defined that is map dot add layer sample point and this uh, curly bracket uh, there is a uh, so here we define the curly bracket that we use to refer the default visualization parameter and the output as a sample point. And to center our, uh, our sample point, we defined map.center object sample points and 14 here refers to the zoom level. So now uh, let me run this code. Go to the option called run, run script. So now we can able to visualize uh, that this is our point location and uh, this is the buffer of 2000 uh, meters that is generated to in order to analyze the time series uh, changes for the NDVI analysis. So for this uh, analysis we, are, for analysis, we are using specifically the MODIS data, MODIS satellite image. So this is our study area. So now let us try to extract our MODIS data for the study area, study region. So now to import our MODIS data into Google Earth Engine, we defined. So to load a several years of MODIS NDVI data, first of all, we defined a variable called collection equal to a double dot image collection MODIS. So this is a code to uh, in order to, this is a code in order to export the MODIS data into Google Earth Engine. And uh, next is we're going to filter it with a specific date that is uh, defined dot filter date double e dot date 2011 1 to 1 that is 2011 January and January 1 and uh, till double e dot date to 2014 12 that is December 31. And we are filtering with a specific uh, that is our study area sample point. So this is our study area. Previously, we have defined our study region that is sample point. So we are filtering specifically with our sample uh, sample point that is our study region. So next is uh, we defined a variable called collection mean equals to mean dot collection dot mean. So in order to visualize the entire satellite image ranging from 2011 to 2014, so as a, uh, to visualize the image, we define a mean for it. The so mean for 2011 to 2014. So with, for that, we defined a variable called collection mean equals to collection mean. So the collection here refers to, that is our modus data, 
that is mode is uh, data and uh, we defined a variable called variable collection mean equals to collection mean so it is a mean for the entire mean for the modus data for 2011 to 2014 so in order to print that to output uh, output our details we defined print collection mean so print co this collection mean refers to this variable that is our mean of uh, mean of modus uh, satellite image so next is we're going to define the visualization parameter for this modus data so let me uh, so to define a visualization parameter, we define the variable called NDVI palette. Uh, we are referring that is our color scheme. We are referring this particular color 00FF00 and six zeros. And uh, to add this layer, so before that, let me show you the colors, color palettes. So this particular code has the, these individual code values has a specific representation to the particular colors. So this is a website called Color Brewer. So we can able to view that the six digit code, each of this uh, six digit code has a specific uh, values. So this green dark green has this specific value of double zero, five eight and two four. So similarly, uh, we have this uh, set of uh, code has a certain uh, colors, which represents certain colors. So now uh, let us go to, uh, to add our layer, define map.add layer collection mean so it refers to our mean collection of in the modus data so it refers to this particular variable and we are clipping that is we are clipping with our sample point so we are uh, clipping with our sample point here refers to our that is our uh, the point data point data we generated here with the buffer value of around 2000 meters or two kilometers and uh, with the minimum value of minus one and maximum value of one. So whenever the plus value indicates uh, it is of more vegetation and minus value indicates of it is less of vegetation. So we are using a specific bands. So band we are, uh, particular band we are using is, is our NDVI. So we are using only the NDVI band. So we are using NDVI band and palette that is a color palette we are referring to our ndvi palette so that is we are defined here that is our ndvi palette and uh, output as ndvi so now uh, let us run this code so now uh, let me run this code go to this option called run run script wait for some time the layers being loading here we have two layers one is ndvi layer and second layer is our sample that is region of interest that is our study area so you can uh, able to view that this is our uh, ndvi ndvi data from modus so now we can able to view that so this is a ndvi modus uh, modus data and it is also a mean for mean uh, modus data collection so from it's from 2011 to 2014 so it is actually a mean uh, mean uh, mean data of modus ndvi so we have two different players one is our ndvi data and second is our sample point so now let us define our time series that is our day of the year chart so to define that we do, uh, let us uh, show you that so to define the day of the year chart, we are using a variable called chart1 equals to. So this specific algorithm that creates our day of the year chart. So we are defined variable called chart1 equals to ui dot chart dot image dot toy series. So it refers to the collection. The collection refers to our uh, modus satellite image. So that is we defined uh, we defined here. There is our variable called collection. So we here referred it as a collection here. And our study region, this is our uh, area of region of our interest. We define sample point. So we also define the, so that is our uh, region of interest using our variable sample point. So our specific uh, point location with a buffer of 2000 meters. So this refers to our sample, uh, that is our study area. And reducer mean, so it is our reducer function. W dot reducer dot mean with 500 
500 refers to the spatial resolution, that is 500 meters of spatial resolution. And uh, next is we're going to define a chart with the different cities for each year in the in the forest region. So here we define a chart with the different cities of each year in the forest region. So we are specifically defined to chart with the different cities of each year is to in order to understand the variation of the suppose we are using NDVI that is a normalized difference vegetation index in order to understand the change in the vegetation pattern throughout the year it is high very useful uh, for our investigation in order to analyze the change in the variation that is the vegetation pattern so we use the chart with the different series for each year for a forest region so for that we define a variable called chart 2 so for that we defined a variable called chart2 equals to ui chart dot image dot doy that is day of year series by year we are using specifically by year that is our parameter specifically for an year so previously we had defined by series now in the that is only doy that is day of year series and now we are using a specific parameter by year so day of year that is our day of our year series by year that is series by year so for that we are referring to our collection that is a variable called collection referring to our our modus image that is variable collection and similarly the ndvi so we are ndvi so it refers to our ndvi and uh, sample points uh, refers to our study region and w dot reduce mean and with spatial resolution of uh, 500 uh, meters. So to last is to display our uh, charts, we're using our to output as a print chart one and chart two. So in order to display our chart, we are using print chart one and chart two. So chart one refers to this first uh, uh, series, and chart two that refers to uh, refers to the series by a parameter called year. So now uh, to, let us run this code. So go to the option called run script. Click run script. So now we can able to view that in the console section. It displays our uh, it displays our chart. So it displays our two charts. So one is uh, one is our band uh, mean by day of the year across years that is from 2011 to 2014 and second one is our ndvi mean by uh, years from 2011 to 2014 so this is our first chart let me uh, show you that so this is the first chart that is uh, band mean by day of the year across the years from 2011 to 2000 uh, that is across an year so the vertical axis represents our band mean and, uh, and the horizontal axis represents the day of the year. So it represents the 50th day, 200, uh, 200 day, day 200 and up to day uh, 300. So the advantage of uh, this time series chart is uh, so there is a seasonal pattern in, the, in this DVI data that is you can able to under, uh, you can able to see that. In day 200, uh, from day uh, 150 to day uh, 250, 250, there is a significant increase in the NDVI, that is the vegetation pattern. Compared to the other days, we have our we have a lower uh, vegetation index. And during this uh, 150th day 150 to day 250, we have significant increase in the vegetation. So this uh, decline, you can able to observe that there is a decline in our vegetation, and uh, this peak indicates the our increase in the vegetation and similarly we have seasonal variable uh, seasonal uh, changes variability that is you know, from 50th to from uh, day 1 to uh, day uh, 125 that is we have our uh, decline in vegetation and uh, similarly from day uh, 300 or the day 3 uh, 300 to 350 we have our decline in vegetation so incline in the vegetation is observed from 100 day 150 to uh, day 250 or day 275 so it is very useful to show our changes in the seasonal pattern uh, seasonal pattern in the vegetation uh, changes 
So this particular chart is used for uh, change the vegetation pattern for one particular year. So uh, let me show you the other chart. So this is our second chart. That is our NDVI mean table of year in different years. So from NDVI changes from 2000, we can observe from 2011 to 2014. Now let me show you that. So we have our NDVI mean day by by of an year in different years. So each of this color indicates a specific year. That is blue indicates 2011 and red indicates 2012 or and uh, the orange indicates 13 and green indicates 14. So in a vertical axis, we have our NDVI mean and in our horizontal axis, we have the day of the year. So and uh, you can able to observe that in uh, orange is refers to our 2013 NDVI data. In that particular data, there's significant decline in vegetation is observed uh, in uh, day 212. So that, uh, may, the, that may require uh, investigation. And uh, compared to other data, all the data uh, shows us that from 150th, day 150 to uh, or day 250, we have a significant increase in our vegetation, that is incline in vegetation. And compared to other, uh, other days of this, years we have our decline in vegetation observed from day zero from day one to uh, day of 100 or 125 and similarly from day 100 day 300 to 360 we have our decline in our vegetation so in this way you can able to uh, view a different uh, change uh, pattern changes across these years so i have uh, shown you this uh, the important things about this two chart so we can able to uh, change this uh, we can able to uh, view the uh, seasonal variation for a particular year or for a series of year using this option called day of the year chart that is about day of the year chart so in this video i have shown you how to create a day of the year chart and uh, how to create a buffer and uh, how to create a point and uh, create a buffer around that point and to load our modus data and create NDVI analysis and create a mean uh, modus that is a mean NDVI value for entire series and uh, and uh, to add our add layers and to clip and define a chart and uh, to create a chart that is our uh, day of the year chart so it is very useful for to change the variation to absorb the variation the seasonal variations so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like